Good morning and welcome back to the channel. This is Gil. The channel is GB Winging It. So glad you stopped by to join me on this morning's commute. It's about 6 o'clock in the morning. It is 47 degrees with a real feel of 47. But we're on a motorcycle and traveling at or about 60, 70 miles an hour. It feels a bit cooler. Yeah guys, I know, it's the wind chill. You gotta love it though. I mean, today's the first day that I am running my heated jacket on top of my base layer and an outer shell over it. So we are in mid-October here. And uh, the temperatures, well, you get the pendulum swing. One day it's 70, the other day, next day it's 47. As motorcyclists, what do we do? We gear up. We also look for cars and vehicles that are stopped and not flashing hazards. Guys, I can't tell you how much I enjoy the serenity of riding, even amongst all of these motor vehicles, the serenity and the peace you get or I get when I ride my motorcycle into the office in the morning. Something about that low light kind of puts you at ease. And I must say, the heated jacket is working a treat. I got smart this morning and made a few adjustments to the gear. And you guys know, you do what it takes to get yourself comfortable. I'm always interested in learning new and different ways to make my riding experience comfortable. And if you have something to add, please leave it in the comments below. I am grateful and I am enjoying what I have. And what I have here is some nice sweeping roads in relatively light traffic. And I'll take that, I'll take that all day long. I also have the sound of the boxer engine accompanying me on these roads. Love the torque on this engine. In my last video, I talked about my thoughts on the 1300 and how I'm not interested in the looks and I'd like to give you a little bit more on that. I mentioned in that video that it had a European look to it, a Ducati-esque look to it, a Yamaha Suzuki-esque look to it. It sort of looks like everything else going on in the heavyweight ADV segment. And I understand why. You see, manufacturers are in the business of selling motorcycles. So that means they basically have to appeal to the younger segment. And the multi-strata and those motorcycles made by those Italian and Japanese manufacturers, they're really appealing if you're young. They're also a bit more affordable, with the exception of the high-end Ducati. So BMW had to go that route, or they chose to go that route. I saw one video where the motor vlogger described the 1300 GS as being a unisex type style motorcycle. I mean, next to the 1200 and the 1250 GSs and GSAs, it does look a bit, uh, dare I say, feminine? No, no, no. I, I, I wouldn't say that because, first of all, I may think it. <laughs> it looks a little soft. It doesn't have the rough edges. It doesn't have that smash mouth look. 
it has that smash mouth performance though. Oh, I think he's still there. No doubt it's no doubt it's going to perform. That 1300 is going to perform and do everything better for that customer looking for more speed, more torque, more electronics. I mean, that's just the way of the industry. You're going to get more on that high end. Would I like to have that electronics? Uh, maybe it became stock or standard, but I'm good with what I have. The electronics package here is, to me, phenomenal. It also looks a little lower and it's sleeker. Which tells me that, hey, it's not gonna be intimidating to the vertically challenged, the 5.7 guy, that 5.8 guy, that 5.9 guy with less than a 32 inch inseam. I guess that's a good thing. Getting lighter is always nice. Just an observation guys, if you feel differently, leave in the comments below your thoughts on BMW and what they've done with the 1300 GS. I got lights on me. Those are some brights. Woo! Well guys, it feels like I'm back in the game. You get that first cold one under your belt. And then you get to manage your gear and learn what's going to work for you this season. Did your tolerance level go up or down? Did you find something new this season to improve your comfort? Thanks so much for coming along for the ride. Speak to you real soon.